So today I want to talk to you about rhizomes. I know I've done a few videos about bamboo rhizomes, but I get a lot of questions about it. And the other day, I, <clears throat> well, as we say in Germany, hab mein inneren Schweinehund überwunden. You know, I conquered my inner pig dog. You basically overcome your inner weakness, and you thought, you know what, you lazy fucker? dig the trench and thank god I did because the bamboo has been there for five years now it was a tiny little rhizome at the time and now it has established and it has grown quite a bit and there are few rhizomes which were going where I didn't want them to go so I dug a trench so that's the bamboo it's a Huang Wangshu Inversa so <clears throat> it's a timber bamboo and it grows quite tall this one like I said it's quite young it's around about five years old so I wanted to have a you know let it grow a little bit bigger anyway so but then the other day i started digging the trench which i'm going to dig deeper today and then, lo and behold there's a rhizome and then there was another one here and another quite established one here so this rhizome here which i cut off already was 23 centimeters deep this one also 27 centimeters deep and then this one this one was only 17 centimeters so the trench right now is 37 centimeters deep i'm going to dig round about 45 centimeters just to be on the safe side because this one seems to be growing quite deep comparatively to other bamboos which are you know shallower also you have got to keep on top of that you know what dig the trench clean it out and really check several times a year and also because at the end of the day if you don't bamboo will rule you now once that shit has spread everywhere it's going to be really difficult to get rid of it well it's going to be a lot of digging and stuff like that so it's not joyful but anyway so i'm going to be digging a little bit more so i thought before i get too sweaty i'll show you another one so i'm going to continue to dig the trench the depth it needs to be and here i have a filiostachys areocallus areocalsata and yes it rolls up the tongue doesn't it <laughs> so this is the bamboo and i'm going to show you what i mean with shallow horizon i love this one beautiful yellow canes and sometimes as you can see here they kind of do this because it grows too quick for the cane to harden so they get all bendy love that anyway see here are the rhizomes there you can see that one here and another one and this is like, what, two or three centimeters below ground? While there is a rhizome trench around this one and I don't have to dig it out, I thought, you know what, I'm going to show you guys how long they grow in... This one's been in, don't let me lie, I think four years now. And I really haven't been digging around and all that sort of stuff. So this is a four-year-old rhizome. And we have to bear in mind that obviously the first year, they're kind of, you know, they're not the fastest to grow. I may be talking through my eyes, but as far as I can understand, or as far as I have witnessed or seen, you know, obviously the older they get, the faster they seem to be spreading. So anyway, let's have a look. Like I said, this one has a rising trench around it, so I didn't really need to dig them up. But I wanted to show you how to also check where your bamboo is growing. So if you just dig in with a spade, with this one it works because they really are quite shallow. And as you can see, this is a pretty new one because that's the tip of the rhizome. You know, it's a lot of work, but you don't have to do it all the time. So it's, uh, it's like I check once or twice a year. <laughs> I should be checking once or twice a year. Anyway, let me show you the other rhizome. This is the longer one. So obviously, I just broke it off here. There's, uh, say, another 50 centimeters on it. So this is how it looks. So you've got the rhizome here, and then you have these little nodes there, and these then become the canes. Oh, you can see quite good here. See? there we are these ones then so the rising keeps on growing straight and these ones come up and here you are this would have been another one for uh, this would have been another new one next year same as this one yes yeah, so and obviously then it continues here's another one that would have come up 
So people, this is the ugly reality of gardening. I mean, you know, I look like shit anyway when I do this, but this is just getting beyond a joke and I'm sweating like there is no tomorrow. However, just to recap, if you have a spreader, which is a Philiostacus, Pseudosassa, anything with a sassa really on it, you get like small bamboos as well. They're only about this tall and they spread absolutely everywhere. You have to put either a rising barrier in, which is a specific plastic you need to buy. If you put a rising barrier thing, a bamboo rising barrier in, you know, jujul or whatever you use, you'll see it. It's a high density polyethene uh, membrane. They come in, you know, width of one meter or 70 centimeters and you have to dig them in and you have to leave about this much coming up above, otherwise the risings will grow above. Then you can dig the trench or you can do what I just did, you know, go around it with a spade and have a look if you can find any rhizomes, break them off the mother plant and dig them out. I always dig them out. Some people leave them in because they believe once they're split from the mother plant, they don't grow as individual plants. I haven't tried that and I won't. I'm just, you know, I'd rather save them. I'm the, I'm rather, I am rather safe than sorry. Anyway, and I'm losing the power of speech. So I'm going to continue to dig uh, the rhizome trench around the Huang Wengshu, and I will show you later. But the thing is, it's going to get to the point that I'm going to look even more unpleasant than I do already. So I think this is it from me facing the camera. <sighs> I know I said I was finished. I lied. Oh, oh, it's not lovely. Anyway, dug up another one and I'll show you this one. One, two, three. It's got four fucking tiny canes. So you're thinking, can't be far. So, this I dug up just now. So, this was attached to the mother plant. Went this way, that way, that way, that way, all the way there. I don't know. Oh. Oh, you're sweating my eyes. Oh, I'm losing the power of speech. I'm pounding like a pervert. And I'm going blind because I'm on sweat. Gardening is a bitch. I love it. Anyway, have a look. This one is two meters. So, hang on. Let me show you. Fuck. Anyway, let me show you the mother plant. What well, are you thinking? That can't be far. It's a tiny little plant. This is the plant. It's Philiostacus vivax, Huang Wengshu, or Golden Grove Bamboo. The difference in between this one and the inverse is this one is yellow with green stripes, and the other one is green with yellow stripes. But anyway, if you see this plant, you're thinking, ugh, tiny little shit bag, can't be very far. Well, this is where I cut the rhizome off, and it ended up over there. Another thing I wanted to say, is the rhizomes you need to take out. All these fibrous roots, you know, nobody gives two shits about it because if you leave these on the ground, the bamboo won't come back. It is the rhizomes that need to come out. Once you've got the rhizome out, you're good. All the other, like I said, these ones, they sometimes could grow down to like 80 centimeters. Leave them in, they just compost. So rhizomes out, these ones out, the fibrous roots, nobody gives a fuck that. So, Anyway, I think that's really it now. Oh, probably, maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Oh God, oh. talk to you guys later.